If you believe American passports guarantee unrestricted access everywhere, think again. Greetings everyone and welcome to Topics USA. Today we're exploring the top 10 countries where Americans may encounter an unwelcome reception. Stay tuned until the end as our number one pick could lead to significant challenges. Before we delve in, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our upcoming videos. Even though the Cold War is over and there are new leaders in charge, America and Russia still don't get along. Russia recently invaded Ukraine, making it harder for Americans to visit. If you're an American planning to go to Russia, maybe consider another cold place for ice fishing. Getting a visa is like figuring out a Rubik's Cube and facing scrutiny when entering the country isn't fun. But once you're in Russia, it's filled with history, culture, and stunning landscapes. From the impressive domes of St. Basil's Cathedral to the grandness of Moscow's Red Square, Russia is like a colorful painting waiting for your adventurous side. It's known for its vastness, making you feel like you're in a completely different world. The land of the Tsars is truly interesting, offering breathtaking sights like the Heritage Museum in St. Petersburg, an imperial palace holding priceless art. If you take a journey covering two continents on the Trans-Siberian Railway, you'll experience a bucket list adventure showcasing the country's endless treasures. Just remember, the locals might give you some odd looks. If you visit, keep a low profile and enjoy the beautiful scenery. Let's talk about China. There's a challenge with language and cultural differences, not to mention rules and norms that might clash with what we're used to in the free world. China is pretty impressive, but Visiting is not forbidden, though people suggest against it due to the inconsistent enforcement of laws, which can lead to Americans getting detained wrongly. If you decide to visit, you'll discover a country with a history going back thousands of years. There's the Forbidden City in Beijing, where great emperors lived for almost 500 years. It's like stepping into the heart of Chinese history. And don't forget the incredible terracotta army in Xi'an, guarding the tomb of China's first emperor. For some natural beauty, take a calm cruise along the Li River. The breathtaking karst landscape will leave you amazed. The karst mountains rise dramatically from the water, creating scenes that feel like they're from a dream. Oh, and make sure to take a selfie while enjoying authentic Chinese food to show off to your friends back home. Did you know that Iran used to be friendly to Americans? But things changed after the Iranian Revolution in 1979 and the country became unfriendly towards the United States. Recently, Iran even made a rule that Americans can't visit without an approved guide. People often overlook Iran, but it's like a hidden treasure in the Middle East. For Americans, getting a visa and dealing with travel advisories might be a bit challenging, but once you're inside, there's a lot to appreciate. There's charm, a rich culture, and unique food in this special place. Take some time to explore the ancient city of Persepolis, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It shows how grand the ancient Persian Empire was, with impressive ruins and detailed carvings built and ruled by historical figures like Darius I and Xerxes, until captured by Alexander the Great. And speaking of food, make sure you try the mouth-watering kebabs and delicious dishes infused with saffron that will make your taste buds happy. If you're interested in culture, visit the Nasir al-Mulk Mosque in Shiraz, also known as the Pink Mosque. It has beautiful stained glass windows that create a colorful display when sunlight shines through. Ever heard of Havana u -na, na It might sound familiar. This island, Cuba, has a tricky relationship with the United States, but it's now more open to American travelers. Old Havana is a special place, recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Picture it like a living museum with colorful buildings, cobbled streets, and historic squares that take you back to a long time ago. Imagine strolling through the pages of a book by Hemingway while enjoying a mojito in a local tavern. And if you love old cars, Cuba is like a dreamland. You'll spot classic Chevys and Fords driving around, showing the country's deep love for these old cars. The lively music scene adds even more charm, with Cuban melodies of salsa and song filling the air from every corner. Venezuela is in northern South America, and it's known for having a lot of valuable resources, beautiful nature, and passionate people. However, there are some serious problems here that make it unsafe for travelers from the United States. The country has political issues, restrictions on people's freedoms, and safety concerns, which can be dangerous for Americans who decide to visit. Sadly, Americans are often targets of crimes when they go to Venezuela. But if you're careful and stay safe, there are some really beautiful places to see, 
One of them is Angel Falls, which is the world's highest waterfall and truly amazing. It's in Kanaima National Park and the waterfall drops over 3,200 feet, creating a mesmerizing sight. If you love beaches and water activities, the Los Roques Archipelago is a great spot. It has pristine beaches, clear waters, and lots of marine life. This paradise is not crowded with tourists, making it a peaceful place for relaxation and adventure. Come to Saudi, my friend, they say. It's a kingdom with rich traditions and strict Sharia laws. If you're an American visiting, you can't freely wander around using your passport. There are rules about public behavior, dress codes, and no alcohol or drugs are allowed. Breaking these rules can lead to severe punishments by Western standards. But Saudi Arabia has many fascinating aspects. In Al Ula, there's the ancient Nabataean city of Madain Saleh, offering an archaeological adventure similar to Petra in Jordan. It's a place where rocks form interesting shapes and intricate tombs tell stories of ancient civilizations. Explore the Red Sea coastline for a mix of history and nature. Underwater you'll find colorful coral reefs full of marine life making Saudi Arabia a new spot for diving. Until recently the government didn't give out tourist visas but they're slowly starting to open up to the Western world. Like in many places, understanding and respecting local norms is crucial for a positive experience. Scene Script Number 4. Yemen Yemen has ongoing conflicts and there are groups like Al-Qaeda, making it not very welcoming for Americans. The US Department of State suggests not going there because of terrorism, kidnapping, and armed conflict. That's why Yemen is often not considered as a place to visit, even though it has a lot of history and beautiful landscapes. But if you're fortunate enough to go, Yemen has many amazing things to offer. The city of Sana'a is like a living museum with old-style buildings as you stroll through its streets making you feel like you're in a past era. Yemen is also a treasure trove of natural beauty, especially Socotra Island. There you'll find unique plants like the dragon's blood tree, creating an environment that might make you think you're on an alien planet. Scene Script Number 3, Sudan Sudan is one of the least developed countries globally, and often experiences violence and hostility due to poverty and military conflicts. Even though it has a rich history and diverse landscape, it frequently faces civil unrest. While Americans can technically visit Sudan, the United States strongly advises against it. If you're considering going it's crucial to think carefully and be cautious. Putting conflicts aside, Sudan has a treasure trove of history and culture from ancient times, like Meroe, with over 200 historical periods. These Nubian structures tell the story of a once powerful civilization. The vibrant colors of the Nubian villages along the Nile create a captivating contrast to the desert landscapes, providing a unique glimpse into the country's history. Imagine a country that has dealt with conflict and problems for many decades. Going there is not recommended because of ongoing safety issues. The United States strongly advises its citizens not to travel to Afghanistan due to armed conflict, crimes, and especially the risk of kidnapping, especially for Westerners. If you still decide to go, you'll discover the archaeological treasures of Bamiyan, which are quite impressive. The Bandi Amir National Park, with its beautiful blue lakes surrounded by mountains, provides a peaceful escape from the troubles. But it might be a good idea to consider other places for your travel list. Before we move on, remember to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notified about our newest videos. North Korea is a mysterious place with strict rules like a real-life mission impossible. Traveling there is risky for Americans because of political differences and high tension between the countries. The United States consistently warns against traveling to North Korea, mentioning the risk of arrest and long-term detention for things that wouldn't be considered crimes in the U.S. In this country always in a state of war, grand military parades in Pyongyang resemble scenes from a James Bond movie. Visiting the heavily guarded border between North and South Korea known as the Demilitarized Zone or DMZ is at the center of one of the world's most intense standoffs. If you ever go to this strange and forbidden land follow all the rules no matter how strict. Even a simple photo in a public place or talking to a local can lead to arrest. Would you dare to travel to any of these countries? Let us know in the comments below. Check out this playlist for more travel guides. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.